It's Myron X here with a quick tip on uh, reason. I've been looking on a lot of the forums and stuff, and a lot of people want to know how do I cut and chop stuff up like I got an MPC. Some cats have them, some cats don't. We all been trying to get that sound for years and years and years, but now there is a way you can do this with software. So dig me. I'm in reason right now. All right, what we want to do, this starts on a snare, but we're going to chop from snare to kick to snare to kick, okay? And basically you're cutting it up into quarter note increments. That's our first one. This is our second one. We'll take the razor blade, chop right here. And then, so then we can drop this. We can take that, use our razor blade again, cut right on there, go back to the arrow, select, change the color, chop right there, select your wave, change your color and one last cut and it doesn't matter we just used a small snippet <laughs> of a song you can make uh, four chops eight chops 20 chops however many you need you can chop up the whole song although you get kind of chop happy as my man DJ Babu would say <laughs> So we'll change this color. And now you can see by the colors, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now, what we're going to do, since we have six of those, we're going to create six audio tracks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And what you want to do is you want to take each one of these and drop them onto one each one of your newly created audio tracks. Okay? So now you have six chops right there. Okay? We'll take all of these and move them down one. So now they're all on the audio tracks. Okay? We will set our loop marker right to the end okay so then what we're going to do because what we're going to do is we're going to export these and then bring them back into the sampler okay so we will take the bounce mixer channels now not export we're not exporting okay we're not exporting the loop and we're not exporting the song we're going to bounce the mixer channels we're going to select all of our channels that we want to do we're going to use no processing on here we're going to select the loop, not the song. If you start select the song, it will go all the way to the end marker. We just want it to go to the left and right marker. Okay? So we'll save that. And then we can take this and we will create a new folder. Let's call it Wake Chop 2. Okay? So we create a folder for it. Select Choose. And now our samples get dumped into that folder okay step two we're going to create an nnxt and we'll drag it over to our other rack we'll open up the nnxt and now when we go to browse our sample we'll go and find that same wake chop that we created before the wake chop 2 under bounce entitled there are your six Okay, so there's all of our chops. So now we can load all of our chops into the sampler. And then the first thing we want to do is we want to auto map the zones chromatically. We want one note, one sample per note. Okay, so the auto map the zones chromatically starting at C1. So now we have um, all six of our um, 
all six of our chops in place on the keyboard. Another thing that you want to do is set your key polyphony, the key poly, is key polyphony. You want to set that down to one. You want to make it a monophonic instrument so then that way the samples don't overlap when you play them. Okay? And then the last thing you want to do is kick your release time all the way up. So then now... Just like that. Now you have reason acting just like that.